I'm just going to go ho go ahead and remove this uh, overflow tank just to get access better access to their to the drain hose. I can't really get to it the way it's at. It's not not real easy to get to. I can tell you that. Let's see here. Ooh. Really tucked in there. It's not easy to get to. I can tell you that. I don't even know where that hose went. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some uh, fresh water in here and flush that out, and then um, should be good to go. And then I'm gonna flush the rest of the system out with with some uh, clean water. And Alright, so what I've been doing is just filling this thing up about three or four times, running the motor a little bit, and then uh, draining the plug. It's pretty much just water coming out. I'm, I just let it sit in there a little bit and it sort of hits the overflow. I don't know if there's any in that overflow or not. So, I let it sit there, then I'll turn the motor on for a second. And I just take the uh, plug back out, just loosely put it in there. Of course it shoots out, pretty much just water. But you see at the very end of it, it'll have kind of a greenish, hopefully, hopefully it gets rid of that little greenish tinge that it has, and then I'll know it's completely flushed, or at least good enough. Let's see what it does. This is about when it'll flush to different stuff. Give it a second, and... And now. And now. Wait. There it goes. Oh, that's pretty clean. Yeah, that's it's just a tiny, tiny bit. This stuff wasn't dirty. I think that's good enough. That's just basically water. It's just a tiny bit of coolant left in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this open, and I'm going to pour the first little bit of coolant. When it starts turning blue, then I know that I've worked everything out of there. So that's what I'll do. Um, actually, I'm going to run it through some distilled water first. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, Yamaha blue coolant here and I'm going to fill it up in the radiator, but I'm going to leave this uh, overflow plug open until it turns blue and then I'm, going to sh then I'm going to put the plug in there. Then I know I've flushed out all the water that's in there, the remaining water. There it goes. Now I know I've got most of that water out of there. Make sure that's on there good. Okay, that's on. All right, overflow tank and we're done. Okay, so, check for leaks, make sure everything's good, make sure there's no leaks under here, and the overflow tank, that would not be good, but I think that's about it, alright. Alright, so I didn't show it on camera, but I just went ahead and uh, screwed back on the uh, the side covers and put the rack back on. Uh, showed you how to take it off. It's obviously installation is reverse. 
um, as taking them off. And also right here, I've already showed you how to put that on with the oil change. So nothing was different there. Um, put that back on, super simple. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed on how on how clean the coolant is that I changed. Uh, I think it's it seems to be a little diluted with water, I think, because I flushed it so many times, I think it ended up with water in the system. And, you know, it, it, yeah, it didn't leak out anymore. But I think what I need to do is let this stuff circulate, get it up to temperature. I already kind of ran it for a while. It's running fine. Um, but get it up, run it, let that stuff circulate around. And then what I'll do is I'll go put another batch, uh, another round of that in there. I'll just dump it and then put that in there. It looks pretty clean. It just does, it just looks a little diluted to me. Um, so, because um, I can tell in the overflow tank, it's nice and you know normal. And then in the radiator, it just it seems like there's too much water or something in there. It's probably going to be fine. But... Uh, you know, I'm kind of uh, OCD when it comes to that stuff. So uh, what I'll probably do is end up dumping it uh, at some point and then um, and then refilling it with fresh stuff. And that should do it. Other than that, it looks clean. It didn't look dirty or anything when it came out. So I was pretty impressed um, since I had never changed it. Um, but it didn't it didn't look dirty at all. It looked brand new to me. So um, yeah, it's not going to be dirty, but it just I just like to have a good 50-50 mix in there. Um, so I know that it's uh, up to uh, spec and it won't freeze and it won't get too hot, that type of stuff. So um, last thing you want is overheating up there in the middle of the summer with this bike. So um, so that's pretty. That's almost it. Other than the brake fluid, we're pretty much up to a you know, standard service. And honestly, that's probably what you're going to be really worried about anyways. Um, so yeah, so far so good. Everything looks like it's, uh, I, I just test ran it. Uh, got it warmed up and it, everything is running good. The oil is good. Um, did the oil filter, the air filter? That, that that all looks clean. So should be good for another couple of years here. And uh, yeah, pretty good stuff. So I will talk to you guys later.